Hi everybody, thanks for watching. You're looking at our multi-function center. This is a Brother MFC L2700DW and it needs new toner. And I'm going to show you how to replace the old toner with a new toner. Uh, your first indication that you need new toner is probably on your computer screen. It'll communicate with you and say you need new toner. And then when you finally really no kidding need it, there'll be a little um, a message across this annunciator panel here, this LED panel that says replace toner and then beneath it it'll scroll uh, replace toner open front uh, cover to do that but if you've never done it before it can be a little bit hidden where it is so I'm going to show you today step by step how to do that and let's talk about toner for just one second this is a brother toner cartridge that particular machine takes two of them it's either or two different kinds either TN 660 which is the higher capacity one or a 630 which is just a lower capacity. I'd recommend getting the uh, a higher capacity one. Um, they usually run around $50. A couple ways to get this. The new wireless printers, uh, you can actually have them communicate automatically to the Brother Corporation and they'll order it for you. I've not done that because I can always run down to our big box store, namely Sam's Club, and get it for about $50. Uh, this 630 or 660 has a capacity of about 2,600 pages, so that's about five reams of paper, which for us is probably six months worth of printing. We're not heavy users for paper. Uh, so you open this up, and this has two uses. You can uh, send the other one back to the company free of charge. They'll have a little mailer envelope in here or a label for you to send the old uh, toner cartridge in for recycling. But let's open this up and see what's in it. Okay, in the box you have a little literature about recycling the toner cartridge. In here is that label I showed you that you just slap on the box and stick your old cartridge in here. But the cartridge comes with a uh, this uh, metal vacuum sealed bag. Just cut that open. Pull it out. And there is your brother cartridge. This orange thing will come off. That actually is protecting the ink drum right there so you don't get all messy. They're pretty well sealed, but you can get messed up if you're not careful with them. Let's take this over and get ready to replace the cartridge on the machine. Here we are again at the printer, uh, the multifunction center. I'm going to lift this up just to have you see a little bit more what's going on. You don't have to but it just gives you a little more space to see what's going on. Uh, this is the front cover. You can just pull these two little upright pieces or pull this down like a little handle and pull straight out. It'll fold down and you can see right here it tells you to use toner TN 630 or 660. It's kind of a handy place to have it. And inside right now we have a 630. That's the toner drum or cartridge that comes with it. If you just follow the little black arrow on that green Pull it straight out towards you. I'm going to put this down to use two hands. There we go. Hold the machine. Pull it straight out. And there you can see the tray that holds the brother cartridge. And what, I've, what I'm going to do is press that little green button under my left thumb. That's going to pop it up a little. Then you pull it out. So now I've got the tray in one hand and the used cartridge in the other. Just set that down, grab your new cartridge, and this is where you have to pull off that orange plastic protective cover. Pull that off, set that aside. We'll put that on the old one that we're going to send back. And you have to just seat this in the tray. So with that, just push it straight in. Click it down. I'm going to use both thumbs here and it is seated. Now insert the entire tray back into the machine and don't force anything. It should fit pretty naturally. Clicked in. I'm going to shut the front. You might hear the machine start to cycle up and that's to test to see if it has the new stuff. There it goes. Please wait. Okay, uh, we're complete. We're back to normal operation. That's how you change the toner cartridge in a Brother multi-function center. This is the MFC L2700DW, but it's pretty similar on most of their uh, models. If you like this video, hit like, and don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.